A motorist in Lagos has narrated his ordeal in the hands of some officials of the Lagos State Traffic Management Agency, LASTMA. Plus TV News had a one-on-one -on -one interview session with the victim who we would like to shield his identity for security reasons, the report. For security purposes, we will keep his identity hidden and use pseudo names for him. Olabi Nonuga was on a journey that took him through Berga area of Lagos, but on the fateful day, he drove into the trap of Lasma officials who had laid siege at the spot. He was arrested and booked for illegal parking. Labi said he was drilled for about five hours over the payment of 70,000 naira for the offense. On my way home along the Badai Expressway at Bega, I just park, I'm at that bus stop, and I park on site. Before I know, just to check my car and wind up the glass because it was manner. So before I turned back, I saw three guys surrounded my car and I said, what happened? They say, I pack in the legal way. I say, but well, I just want to wind up this thing. I start begging them, okay, I'm sorry. They say, ah, they have to carry my car to do this, to the last mile office at Alausa. So they took us to the, their office at Alausa in the Kenja there. We are begging them. They say we have to collect the ticket for the legal part. Okay. Was the they now gave us the key ticket. After they gave us the ticket, we are begging them that we cannot get this money. How can we get this money? Just they reduce it from they took us, they gave us the ticket of seventy thousand. Later they cut it down to forty thousand. We still begging them. And I finally cut it down to 32,000. For mine, some 35,000, some 40,000, some pay 50,000, different way. Excuse me, what is illegal parking? My brother, my brother. Over the years, there have been series of allegations of extortions against some last mile officials. Olabi had a taste and wonders how such is left to thrive. Now, we now have been that. What account? Before that, one of their uh, Oga, they, they call them say the Oga, they call us when we are begging them that, please, we did this thing for us. The man told us that uh, the reason why we have to pay that is because of there are some places that the money is going to, uh, they have to share the money into different places. Okay, no, the man told us that. What we are going to do is that if we have a cash of the money in our hand, we should uh, come out with it. Or we should go to ATM and go and collect the money. What is this? We now, we don't have a choice that night, yesterday night. So different people went to uh, allow uh, that uh, shop right, that shop right place, so to collect the money. When we came back, we gave them the money and they now called the, the ticket they gave us. They said we have to return it. This is how the receipt he received looks like. I couldn't explain, I don't know how to explain it more because this thing looked like a scam to me. Come and do something about it to correct all these lapses, all these errors. We have blurred out his name and receipt number for security purposes as we await a response from last month officials. Is this truly a receipt from the government? Time will tell. Loretta Chiogo, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.